What is up my friends, the weekend starts here with your late night agenda Liverpool News Roundup show. As always, I want to know your thoughts on the subject I speak about. Let me know in the comment section, drop a like and of course hit that subscribe button. Look, I'm fuming right now. And before I get stuck into the main topic on tonight's video, which is around Manchester City and Pep Guardiola and how classless a club that they are, I don't want to hear any whataboutery in the comment section. I don't want to be reminded of stuff Liverpool fans have done because I've called it out. I've sat in this very chair on this very stream or this very show and said, any Liverpool fans throwing coins at Pep Guardiola should be banned. Any Liverpool fans found to have smashed the bus on Manchester City or smashed the window of the bus should be banned. And any fans inside the ground singing vile chants towards other clubs from our fan base, I will absolutely always call out because there's no place for it in society. There's no place for it in football. Our sport needs to be elevated and taken out and taken away from these idiots. So before I get stuck into my disdain around Pep Guardiola and Manchester City, I just want to get that clear out there straight away. Because I know the whataboutery is strong with you Manchester City fans. And I know that you think your shit doesn't stink. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're very, very wrong. So look, some people don't like Liverpool fans. I get it. I'm aware of it. But in this case... Manchester City are once again showing themselves up for what I think they really are, which is a classless joke of a football club. So today we had Pep Guardiola's comment saying, if there were Hillsborough chants, he's sorry. If, ex excuse me, if, we've all seen the videos. We've all heard the videos. We all know what happened at the game, Pep. We all know that your fans weren't just reacting to going behind. They were being scumbags. They were singing about Hillsborough. You know, where 97 people tragically lost their lives at a football game, but they're using that to score cheap points. And you talk about respect and you talk about class and doing things in the right way. Well, that starts from the very top of the football club. And Manchester City and Pep Guardiola have refused to come out and publicly apologise for the fans' behaviour and condemn their fans for their behaviour. I've seen letters that have been written to Manchester City, and I'm sure you guys have seen them as well, from, in fairness, some Manchester City fans, and of course from Liverpool supporters as well, who felt very, very angered at what happened in that game. Look, there is a rivalry between the two teams. There's, I don't know. I don't live in the UK, so I don't know if there's a built-in hatred between Mancunians and Scousers. I kind of get the idea there's a rivalry. I kind of understand that it goes right back to the Port days as well, who was hustling and jostling for a position to make sure they were the number one port in that part of the UK. I kind of understand all of that. But we're in modern days now. This is a football match, and you are singing, mocking, and laughing about fans dying and any Liverpool fan that I'm aware of, and I remember this situation last year where a Manchester City fan was assaulted in a petrol station on the way home from an away game. I think it may have been Belgium or somewhere. And every Liverpool fan I spoke to, myself included, made content and saying that that was disgraceful and that we wish that Manchester City fan well. So I personally, I'm able to separate my feelings of a game, my feelings of frustration or annoyance at the other team with real life and it seems like unfortunately for Manchester City and Pep Guardiola it's another case of shrugging their shoulders and not admitting what their fans did so look they've got form for this look right back if I remember correctly a Wigan or somewhere like that in an FA Cup game or a League Cup game similar thing happened went there start wrecking a place ripping up seats now it's graffiti in Anfield singing a mock in Hillsborough and your club can't even release a proper apology and can't even really go after those that were there. And it's not hard to figure out who it was. There is enough video footage of it. And Manchester City will have a record of exactly who took those tickets, exactly who travelled to that game. And this just shows yet again that it's more what a boundary, it's more half arse with regards to an apology. And they're just a classless, soulless club. And it starts from the very, very top. What I'm most disappointed about right now is that it's seeped down to the bottom, to the fans, because I've always, always had some respect for Manchester City fans. I've spoken before numerous times about being old enough to remember the main road days, Manchester City getting relegated, go down through the divisions, setting attendance records. All of that goodwill is gone now. And look, I'm Irish. I'm aware I'm not Scouts, because I'm sure you'll point it out in the comment section. But I am sick to death of seeing good, good people in Scousers mocked and vilified by people and still trying to slur the reputation that they fought so hard to have cleared 
Because we all know what was printed in that rag of a newspaper was lies. We all know that the narrative of blaming the fans was lies. It's been proven. And football is a, is a sport where we all need to stick together. And we can't have this stuff happening. And it needs to start from the top. So if you want to flip this on its head, look at Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp will condemn Liverpool fans for any behaviour that he deems is inappropriate or unacceptable and it will come right from the top of the football club down. I wish I could sit here and say the same about Manchester City. So once again, Pep Guardiola and City, hang your heads in shame because you're an utter disgrace to the league. And that's before we get into the other stuff, but that's another day's video. So look, what have we got for tomorrow against uh, Forest? I don't know at this particular moment if Darwin is going to be ready to play the full 90 minutes. I don't expect Thiago to play in the game as an example. Klopp said that both of those guys felt their hamstrings. So I think Thiago he'll probably have on the bench and hope not to have to bring on. Obviously, the midweek game against Ajax is a massive one. But ultimately, for me, guys, this gives us a chance to, to lay down another marker in the Premier League because there's some big games coming up this weekend. Manchester United, Chelsea. They're the type of games that we, we need to be keeping an eye on and we need results to start going in our way. But we have a chance, as I said, to put a marker down, to get our three points on the board before everybody else kicks off this weekend. So if there is one positive to be had from this early kickoff, and I really don't like them, uh, it is that. If you can get the win, you get a little bit more rest, obviously, ahead of the Champions League games. But you also get to sit back, sit back in the weekend and see how the rest of the games unfold. Because we've done what we've set out to do. We've beat Manchester City. We picked up that, we backed that up, excuse me, with a, with a win against West Ham, albeit there, there was some hairy moments in it. But ultimately, right now, we're on a roll and we need to keep that momentum going. So if you guys had a chance, I'd love to know what you thought of my predictions video. I did put up my predicted 11, my score prediction. Uh, I think Liverpool are going to win with two goals to nil. That's my thoughts for tomorrow's game. But ultimately, I want to know what you guys think, both around the subject of speaking about today, Manchester City and Pep Guardiola and that, if it happened. I, I don't even know. I like... If it happened? Really? If it happened? I don't know. Maybe he believes that the earth is flat. I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, but that, that's just embarrassing from Pep Guardiola. Somebody who I actually thought had some class about him. Somebody who I actually thought was interested in the good of the game and in society. But I, I genuinely don't know where to go with that from Pep. And I also want to know your thoughts on the game tomorrow and what you think is going to happen between Manchester United and Chelsea because that's a big game already in the season. For us, if a draw, probably a result that would work well for us. But ultimately, if Manchester United can go to Stamford Bridge and get a win... I think that really does announce them as genuine contenders for a top four spot because they've beaten Spurs, as I said, last week and a very good victory as well, I have to say. So I'm hoping that maybe there's a draw in there and Liverpool can start catapulting ourselves up there because we are playing catch-up after that awful start to the season. So look, it is the weekend. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Thank you for tuning in as always and listening to my rants or my... I don't know, whatever you want to call it. My thoughts. But these are my genuine thoughts. I know some people in Liverpool don't like me. Hell, there's some Irish people that don't like me. But all I can say to you is, I love your city. I love the people in it. I'm very proud to be a fan channel associated with your city and with the football club. And I will be damned if I'm ever going to sit back and allow people to ridicule and mock a city that I love and people that I hold dear. So look, that's my take on it all. Love to know your thoughts in the comment section. I will speak to you tomorrow. Match starts at 11.30am or should I say our match coverage. And as I said, you can find the link in the description. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.